Hello everyone, I'm here to introduce to you a bot that my team created and it's called the Instant SEO Bot. Your next game changer in content creation brought to you by a team of product managers, engineers, and marketers from the tech space. So imagine whipping up high quality SEO content in the time it takes to make instant noodles, right? So yes, instant SEO is that fast and that good. If you are a digital marketer or like a growth product manager, you probably understand the grind of SEO all too well, right? Starting from keyword research all the way to SERP analyses, drafting an endless cycle of edits, right? Uh, it's huge and it's a lot of time wasted. So this is where instant SEO step in. So imagine having a full team of SEO writers, not only SEO writers, right? From the analyst uh, to company experts or even to the point where you have a whole horde of PMMs working for you. So that is what uh, we envision Instant SEO to be with Instant SEO. It saves you cost of up to twenty to $50,000, which you don't need to hire an external agency and the bot can just help you do that. Content creation time drops to just at most 15 minutes per blog. So let me explain to you how Instant SEO works, right? As you can see uh, from the UI, we have one, two, three, four, five. So we have five different uh, agents uh, that we have built with each agent having its own unique skill. And each skill kind of like mimics a role within a marketing team. So as you can see, uh, firstly, we created a system prompt to prompt the SEO assistant that the main goal here is to generate top ranking SEO optimized blogs for you. All we need to do is to provide keywords such as primary keywords, the secondary keywords, a brief description of the article that we want to write, and a desired word count. And the bot will just go autopilot. Pretty cool. So as an assistant, we tell the bot some do's and don'ts, and it's all in the system prompt. So things like the bot has to maintain a professional tone, exclude any content that falls under the categories of offensive, harmful, or not safe for work. It should not fabricate any information, right? So let me give you an example. What we do here is talk project management software. We want the bot to talk about best project management software, get secondary keywords like productivity tips, hacks, et cetera, et cetera, and want them to list down essentially the top 10 productivity tools and do a detailed comparison between each software's key features, as well as its pros and cons, and ultimately, uh, generate a article that is about 1,500 to 2,000 words. So once we give them this prompt, you can see that the first agent, which is what we call the analyst, it's equipped with a few skills, which is the Google web search, uh, test and browse, uh, related search lima frame, etc. So firstly, what the bot does it, is it first reference a knowledge base that we built for it, which is called the Lima framework, where top uh, blog writers actually follow a very uh, strict Lima framework, which helps improve the quality of blogs created. So after doing that and searching information from its knowledge, it will then move on to use keyword memory, TS test browse and search, and followed by TS search results. So it's TS search related. So uh, you guys might be curious, right? What are each of these uh, plugins or like, let's say different type of skills that we built for our bot? So for Google related questions, we essentially built a plugin to fetch related questions. Uh, basically, basically people also ask for a given user query, which will be fed into the LLM to better understand uh, user interest and user intent. We actually used a public plugin called Google Web Search and Browse Raw, which it will then mimic how the bot will actually search like a human being. And then the Lima framework is essentially a bunch of information that is rules to write a blog, right? After which, once it uses its skills, it will then generate a prompt. As you can see, the project management software, comprehensive comparison, it gives you the brief of the article, right? So introduction to 100 words, overview of the project management software, yada, yada. And so if you're not happy with uh, what the bot has given you in the first place, you can actually also prompt the bot to Hey, I say I heard of like a similar productivity tool such as LARP, which is an upcoming productivity software. Maybe you can do a search on it. Or even if maybe you heard that Zoom is also creating a productivity suite. Maybe uh, we can talk about it after Jira. As you can see, the bot instantly understands what you're talking about and generates uh, 
more information about the different type of software that you might want to include and it will continue responding right uh, while it's actually responding uh, let me just maybe brief you through what is the next agent that we've created which is the company expert so this company expert also has its own skill which is browse the agent problem that we created here is that it helps collect company related information so let's say if you are a company uh, maybe uh, let's say you're a productively software or let's say you're working for maybe asana and you want to write this blog right you can also input say hey uh, provided a database of what asana is and what the instant seo will essentially do is to summarize everything about Asana as a company and input it into the blog, which is super, super smart. So let's say if you're happy with the content brief that the bot has generated, what you can do is say, yes, uh, proceed with article, right? And it would then say, hey, since you, you think it's okay uh, with proceeding with the article, then it jumps to company expert. So now it will tell you, hey, you confirm the outline, yada, yada. And here is the content as agreed. So now it will start to write, right, uh, about uh, what the software is. And then it will pass on the task to the company writer. And the company writer will start to generate, right, uh, the article as per what you need. And as you can see from the bottom above, it's super, super fast. And it's pretty accurate with what the tell software, right, Jira, da, 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 and it also states the pros and cons and this is a draft right so yes sounds good let's expand so you can see that once you tell them to expand on the article it actually does uh go into a deep deeper dive to the other copywriter right to kind of like tell the other copywriter hey uh let's go let's write the actual full article and once it's doing that all you have to do is just wait. So once Insta SEO generates all your content for you, you essentially have a new blog ready. And at the very end, once you're okay with all the content, you will then pass on the task to its final agent, which is the SEO expert. And this SEO expert will generate the meta title, meta description, and the URL structure for you. So let me just dive deeper into each of the different types of uh, uh, plugins that we have created so one is the google related search right so what this does essentially it's it given a query it helps to find re related questions that people ask and it uses uh, serpapi.com and that's it it's pretty straightforward so clicking in you can see that the tool name is called a related search and the input part readers is q and using the user query it will then output a series of uh items in an array form which is the question snippet title link display link source logo etc and i'll just like a scroll down so you can see what we program this uh plugin to do and essentially it's just that and apart from the google related plugin we also have one which is uh the google news and this one is used by the bot to do two things one is to search to have a top headline stream and it allows us to search for current trending articles. And yep. So these are all different types of uh, plugins that we use uh, together with the search stream. So the different workflows that we built for this bot is essentially the test, browse, and search, the write search, test, browse, and search, as well as the search related. So if you see the this one, it's essentially how it works is with a given query, uh, we will then uh, prompt the bot to browse the organic results, take out the top five, and from this uh, workflow, it will then trigger a code. And this code, essentially what it does is it sends information to our bot about the top search results and hence uh, creates a knowledge base for our bot to leverage on to write its articles. And we also have the write search so write search is essentially uh, what I showed you just now here in the uh, copywriter. It has a skill called write search. So write search is a workflow built to kind of like given a particular outline, it will then follow a particular word count and create a title. And within this title, it uses GPT-4 with a temperature of 0 0.7 for it to hallucinate a little less. And it creates a entire snippet of an article through the code section over here. And it has a condition to flag. Uh, if true, it would then uh, have um, one, 
which is uh, kind of like it reprompts the bot, right? Is everything is okay uh, from this? We then end the sequence. So it's actually not too complex of a workflow that we created because at the end of the day, all we're doing is calling on GPT-4 to write our articles for us, right? And lastly, there is one more, which is search related. So search related is a little bit more interesting because given a query of string, it will then have a input of uh, related searches and the output will be its local map, metadata, search params, search API pagination, etc, uh, etc. Et and sending all this information into our code, it will then create an information and knowledge base for our bots to kind of understand those related search terms and give our bot more context. And I can bring you through a little bit more on what we developed, which is the knowledge base as well for the Lima framework. So you can see Lima framework is actually something that uh, it's quite important for blog writers, content writers to generate articles. And we feed our board with information on what are some of the better structure that they can adopt, which is from this article by Lili Ukpaja. And the bot will essentially follow the Lima framework to generate the content brief. This Lima framework is consistent with all the different types of uh, agencies that do professional blog writing. So essentially in about 20 minutes, you can get your entire article output for you from the part where you in, uh, generate your primary keywords, secondary keywords, all the way to the full article and changing the article's uh, content, ultimately showing the uh, URL structure as well as the title and description and your entire article is ready. So this is our code spot. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.